Hello everyone, FunshopX here. Welcome back to Crash Landing, a map pack on the Feed the Beast launcher created by Iskandar. We are in version 1.1.2 on a server, and uh, last time we did a lot of work with Pneumatocraft. I've done a few upgrades since then. We'll start in the factory, and you can see I've converted all my redstone, uh, or all my conduits to redstone energy conduits. Um, that took a lot of redstone, but you'll see I still have eight stacks left. That's because I've been to the city a few times and found a lot of redstone ore and put it in my induction furnace with some sand uh, to get tons and tons of redstone. You can all see another redstone conduit coming from over there. Where's that coming from? Well, connected it probably temporarily until I get some tesseracts uh, with a cable that goes into here. Uh, so it's coming from this battery uh, from my reactor. I have my reactor off at the moment. Um, it's more efficient when you fill the fuel all the way up. So I want to get more Eulorium and get that all the way before I turn it back on again. And I've got so much power right now that <laughs> it's gonna, I've got plenty of time to do that. Um, I found a few more filing cabinets while I was in the city. So I put them in there and, uh, that's about it downstairs. Upstairs, I went ahead and created some fat tubes, <laughs> like I showed you. Um, I didn't, I only needed the ones that I crafted. Those eight were plenty. And uh, here's what we've got. We've got the kinetic compressor, uh, a normal tube here. This is a pressure gauge tube. That just tells you what's the pressure uh, of, and that allows a higher pressure through. Um, and then this one is a pressure regulator tube. This one, based on how much redstone signal you give it, allows uh, determines how much pressure can go out. So if I limit this to under five, then I'm free to then connect this uh, tube network to the cheaper tubes and to the more sensitive equipment that can't handle as much air frequency. Uh, so that's good there. What are you up to at the moment? Um, I've went ahead and created another laser program because apparently if you make the both program, you can't use it for the laser recipes anymore. I just assumed it's called both it would allow you to do all the laser patterns and all the everything. It doesn't. It doesn't work. You have to have the individual patterns. So I've got the laser pattern again there um, for when I need to make more PCBs. Um, put the uh, charging station on this side of the regulator because he's allowed to go much higher pressure. And as you can see, this side's up uh, between, what, maybe 7.5, and, and this guy over here, they're down at 3.5. So this uh, regulator is working great. Um, let's see what it's doing. It's a little bit odd. Uh, if we look at the recipes for a gauge, um, the gauge will output a redstone signal at two-thirds of the pressure. So if we had something like pressure nine, it would output a six on a redstone signal. So that's pretty easy to do the math for. The regulator, on the other hand, is a much more complicated equ equation. It's uh, complicated to make. You take two valve tubes and a normal tube and two pressure gauges to make it. And you can see the math is uh, for basically however many bars you want, you take 22 and a half and subtract the redstone signal times one and a half. <laughs> so if I supply a redstone signal of 12, uh, that gives me 18, I believe. Yeah, somewhere around 18. Um, yeah, exactly 18. So 22 and a half minus 18 would be four and a half. So you would think that since this side has plenty, it would allow, uh, and this side is outputting a 12, so that should allow four and a half to come on this side. Well, he's only a three and a half. That's not right, right? <laughs> and uh, he is a three and a half. He's a three and a half. So I think that either the equation is wrong or there's a bug or something, but I am supplying 18. I should be getting four and a half on this side. Not quite sure what's going on, but who knows? I want to set up the other, uh, this guy. I've got a, a receiver here, so that'll be able to detect how much redstone this is given off, which is two thirds the bars, right? And then if it is below a certain value, maybe like 15, because that's easily divisible by three or 16, or I mean 18, sorry. <laughs> Maybe 18, because that's not in the 20 threshold. 18 would be good. Um, so if we want to do 18, we would give it a 12, a redstone signal of 12. Um, 
or if we detected higher than a 12, sorry, then we would want to turn this off. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it makes sense. <laughs> Let's go write the program and see if it works. I'm going to start with something lower, um, maybe something like a 9. So that means anything higher than a six, we need to turn that guy off. So let's go to analog redstone and say anything between six through 15, if it will let me type, come on. No, you're not gonna let me, there we go. Anything six through 15 um, is gonna produce a signal, okay? Or gonna trigger this to go off. And then that means I want whenever it's a low signal, meaning it's below six, to go ahead and emit a high signal, <laughs> uh, output strong power up on the full strength to that guy. So whenever we're below nine, it should turn that engine on, and that engine is now on. Let's watch this thing go up. And as soon as we get just about nine, nine and a half, ten, it should turn itself off if it's working correctly. And if this works, then we'll go ahead and up it to either 15 or 18. I'm just extremely nervous that something will break in here. Am I on a chunk boundary? That's... Uh, F6? No, there we go, F6. Okay, no, the chunk boundary is right on the wall. So perfect. Okay, exactly what I want. Although... I think part of my Steve's cabling is outside that chunk boundary. Yes, it is. Darn it, that's not good. Because it wouldn't be able to reach through. Ah, mm, it's probably not good to have it on two different chunks in case one gets unloaded and one not. I may have to rerun that cable later on. Anyway, okay, so you are up at nine, nine and a half. 10, we need to stop. Let's see. Redstone behavior, only generate on high signal. Okay, that's not right then. What did we do wrong? Um, let's see, if it's, yeah, should be a low signal now. Maybe need two of them to say turn off. Redstone emitter on a high send a low signal, maybe? Sides up, strong. All right, let's see if that turned it off. There we go, okay. So I probably need to fiddle with the program a little bit so it um, turns it on when it goes low and turns it off and it goes high, that kind of thing. But as soon as we uh, hit that threshold, it turned off. So let's, let's bump it to 15 now and watch it again real quick. Uh, so 15 would be 10 on our trigger. Sorry, I got some background noise there. Hopefully it's not too bad in your guys' ears. All right, so it's going on again. Should build up pressure until we hit around 15. Come on, get there. And this guy, what is? What are you doing over here? You, I don't know why it's stuck at three and a half. It should be four and a half, honestly. This thing's math is off. All right, you're gonna turn off. You're almost at 15. Should see that red light go off and that engine stop here. And there it goes, turned off. Nice, perfect. So we've got a, security, a safety valve system, so this should never explode, never get too high, uh, but it'll always keep some pressure in there and use power whenever it needs it and never waste any. Okay, so I have no idea why that is not going to four and a half. Um, maybe I'll bump that down to 11 and see if it goes up a little bit. Output fixed on the upside. That should be fine. All right, what happens if you go to 11? What's on fire? Oh, I know. Never mind. <laughs> and is it going up at all? 
Doesn't seem to be. That's now an 11. Yeah, makes no sense. It should be now a lot higher. Okay. Well, let's just call that system good for now, and I'll try and troubleshoot that later. If you guys know why that um, thing, I assume Landstrider will chime in in the comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong or if he's noticed the same issue with his system because I know he has a regulator. Okay, next, what do we need to do? Well, uh, that actually completed a quest uh, and finished under pressure for us. Um, oops, under pressure, there we go. Um, because I made the advanced pressure tube and the gauge and regulator. Okay, so we get some more redstone, conduit, and a cell frame. Cool. Always good stuff to have. And let's, oh, uh, that completes that off. That's all done. Nice. Let's work on creating life, because we know we are very close to being done with this one. Um, the only one we haven't completed on the animals is the villager. So let's go ahead and get a block of emeralds. So nine emeralds. That was a loud noise. Thank you, Minecraft, for that creepy music. And we need a bunch of mob essence. I think we have plenty, unless uh, our intruders wasted it all. <laughs> um, I can't really see in there. That was one kind of negative of moving that into the corner there, but that's okay. How much do I have? 139 buckets should be good. So we need 100 for our villager. So let's uh, select the task and put it onto our thing. Villagers. We're going to need an emerald block in here. And everything should good. work good if we just go bam. 100 buckets in there. Yep, perfect. That's going to take a while to drain in to use our emerald block. Yes, it did. Oh, I love that my system just works. <laughs> it's too bad that you don't really need the system once you do it once or twice, I guess, because then you could just breed or... or even do it once and do the auto spawner. Oh, and I haven't noticed if my witch water has produced any good results. Do we have anything new? Not really. Nothing really exciting from the witch water, so I'll have to keep watching that um, and see if we get any mobs in there. Alright, that is done, so we must have got our villager. Yes, claim reward. Alright, do I want to throw her down yet? I do, but I think I want to pick him or her up in a Safari net. So let's get a new Safari net. I need four emerald or ender pearls and a gas tier, which I think is over here for some reason. I just threw them in here after I pranked Land Strider a long time ago. All right, am I remembering this recipe correctly? I am. All right. Let's see what kind of villager we get. It won't matter really because we can just spawn more. But nice little villager. What's your trade? Emeralds for diamond pants. That's not a good trade <laughs> at all. Because <laughs> that's uh, seven diamonds, basically, for 13 emeralds. Nope, sorry. You go in the Pokeball. There we go. And uh, at some point later, I might make a villager system and spawn some and trade with them, but that's good there. Okay, so that should complete that repeatable quest. And now we are at 66% on creating life. Um... What is this? Just a bunch of... Yeah, might as well finish these guys off. Just some ingots. I don't know if I'll do the diamond one yet. Maybe, maybe not. Today we're eating, what, just regular grape, uh, grape PB&Js? Or... No, just regular PB&Js. Okay, cool. Um, iron. It's probably six gold, too, I'm assuming. Okay. Manual submit, get some iron armor, gold, manual submit, get some gold armor. How many diamonds? Six diamonds. I got 25. Might as well just finish the quest off. Submit, claim reward. Okay. So we got the horse armors. I'm going to throw them back down here. Although I want to actually have a horse. Do I have a horse spawning egg? Did I use that? What happened to him? Hi, golem, pig, sheep, horse. There you are. And we'll put you guys in here. I'm going to need a saddle. I'm going to need some carrots, I think. I'm not going to feed him a notch apple. Uh, carrots, carrots, carrots over here. 
All right, let's tame this guy. Um, where am I going to put him? I don't really have a stable for him. I just don't want him in my crops. Let me get a lead and a fence post. Can I make sticks out of two different kinds of wood? Good. <laughs> oh, and that's not enough. I need two more. Okay. Fence post. Let's put that. Yeah, he can hang out here with the uh, the walrus. The lead, I think that's a slime ball. Am I right? Slime ball and string. You can put that back on. I am out of water. Ah, there we go. Okay, slime ball. Where would I find that? Probably downstairs? Hmm. Might have to get the Metacraft helmet out to find this one. If it's not in here. Uh, string is, though. Is it four string? Yes. Okay. Uh, slime balls. Did I put them with my food? Excuse me. Goodness. Yep, oh, there we go. There's no real quest reward for this other than just having a cool horse, right? <laughs> I might ride him into the city, ride him off into the sunset. Okay, horse, you go here. Oh, you're a nice little horse. Let's uh, let's feed you some carrots. You like carrots? Oh, he loves carrots. All right, let, uh, let's try and break him. No, he did not like that. You want some more carrots, huh? Oh, he's not even eating them. Oh, he loves me. Okay. Let's uh, get on him, tab, put the saddle on him, put the armor on him. All right, there we go. We got our horse. He has uh, how many hearts? Two extra. How's his jump? Pretty crappy. <laughs> eh, not that bad. He could maybe do a three wall, three high wall, two high wall. I don't know. All right, let's uh, go ahead and dismount you and tie you up right there don't be all jumping around like that oh dude you are gonna get annoying don't make me turn you into glue thank you <laughs> that that settled it oh you want some carrots here have a carrot no eat a carrot dude do they not eat carrots do they only eat apples maybe that's my problem hmm i swore they ate carrots every horse i know eats carrots here I guess he's just not hungry, maybe? Yeah, alright, not hungry. Okie dokie, what is next on the agenda? We are going to look at go back to quest rewards, and that should just about finish consuming life, or creating life, <laughs> not consuming life, lol. Uh, we'll open that up, and I think the last one is this 1-up, which we should have done a long time ago. Uh, we need a Shell Constructor. Shell Constructor uh, takes one of these sink cores and I can make one and it's not that difficult to make or I could kill some Enderman for one if you notice this quest here we get a sink core so I need to kill eight more Enderman I don't feel like doing that right now and for some reason there's no mobs something is definitely broken on the server there are no mobs spawning at all so I'll have to take that up with raccoon I don't know why. It's nighttime. He, uh, somebody must have accidentally set it to passive or something. But there are no mobs on the server at all. Unless uh, unless someone's got like some kind of wild, crazy farm that has uh, got a ton of mob, like hit the mob cap or something. So that's not going to happen. We're not going to endermen, so let's go ahead and just craft a sink core. We are going to need a lapis block, a redstone block. A ton of nether quartz. We need some obsidian. And you'll look down here. I hollowed out this room just a little bit more to give me more space. And I also automated obsidian just really simply by pump, piping lava in there and uh, taking out obsidian. So uh, I can't remember how much obsidian we need. Let's just get it all. 
I also put uh, pyrothium underneath there to make it go a little faster. That's that burning that you hear every once in a while is this uh, sand block catching on fire. But yeah, that it's going a lot faster. And I've had that pyrothium in my bags for so long. Might as well use it. Uh, what else do we need for that core? Uh, some daylight sensors, so some more glass and uh, wood. Let's get the rest of this wood. Dude, horse, you're gonna really bug me. Alright, so two daylight sensors. Um, got the lapis. We need two emeralds and a uh, ender ball. Yeah, I wondered why my witch water had not caught anything so far. It's because mobs are not spawning. <laughs> that that would do it, right? Um, I don't feel like crafting these, so I'm just going to stick those in the... Oops, not my bag. There, and it'll craft them for me. <laughs> That's extreme laziness, right? Uh, where's my redstone? Come on. Yeah, I'll come back. I need two emeralds. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, should have everything we need for this. We do. And now we need uh, glass panes, redstone, and obsidian. And we can make our constructor. We should have had this a long time ago. Because <laughs> this is your safety net for this map. If you die, you lose. <laughs> Unless you have a constructor. And I don't know where I want to put this. Um, where do I have power? Got power in this room. Should I put it right here? Yeah, yeah, we'll put it there. Okay, so we need to right click on it. There we go. And it needs power, so let me get another conduit I should have in here. Oh, I upgraded some of these chests to uh to be iron chests and gold chests, by the way. I need to move you for a second. Oh goodness. He's not going to want to come to me. There we go. All right, so redstone signal to you. Oh, you're not going to connect. Be that way. All right, um, so if I need to do it from the bottom, then maybe I'll just do it upstairs. Or right here. <laughs> I don't know. This is going to get really annoying. I need to pick a better spot. Do I have much room in here? We go upstairs. There's a redstone signal there. And now I don't have enough, do I? I wouldn't be able to get out. All right, let me get one more conduit. <laughs> plan ahead, plan ahead. Didn't plan much ahead, did I? This is one of those, let's jump on and record an episode because I promised to put out ever, one episode every day this week and I haven't got one ready for it tomorrow yet, so gotta go fast. All right, uh, core there. Okay, you can't put it in the bottom because it has to be sitting on a solid block. So that's not going to work either. Do you think the problem was I didn't give it a redstone signal? Where the heck is my stone that came out of there? Okay, we're then... Take you... right here break that guy and try this that's a grindstone not a crafting table
make me. It's just not connecting. Why is it not connecting? This doesn't make any sense. From the side? <laughs> When in doubt, try everything, right? No, it just does not want to connect to that. Maybe it needs a full battery. Let's try that. So if I get... Do I have an extra battery anywhere? Um, I do not. Oh, I have one over on my fruit picker that I'm not really using right now. Nose is running like crazy. That doesn't make good videos. Sorry. I really want to get this to work though. Start making a fun shine, please. Input from the top, output to the bottom. Alright, this is really bugging me. I've given you a redstone signal. I have given you a battery, I've given you power, I've given you everything I wanted. Sound like a uh, little shop of horror. Okay, uh, here. Redstone, battery, output, go. Hey, it's working! Okay. <laughs> so, he needs a battery. On the side, apparently. Doesn't work on the top. Works on the side. But he's making moan of me. Okay. Um, I gotta read about this because I'm a little confused on how shell all works. Oh, it looks like we got a second part. Oh, now we need to make shell storage. Okay. Uh, no, important, important, important. <laughs> you must save and exit your game if you sink. Otherwise, uh, you'll do so... Um, you won't track your temperature and heat anymore, so he's kind of cheating. <laughs> anyway, um, once you create a new shell structure, you may uh, need some place to store it. While well, you can leave it in the constructor, that leaves you vulnerable until the constructor builds a new shell. Shell storage is a better solution. Simply spy it with a redstone signal. Uh, da -da -da. Lever works. Walk in your sink to any available shells. Okay. Note, inventory, health, hunger, heat, and hydration are not shared between shells. Also, shell storage is redstone signal. The shell will be lost, along with its inventory. Oh, no! That's not good. <laughs> okay, so you're building. Let's make the shell storage. How much difficult is that? Oh, I've already got shell linked here. I probably need another one of those. Yes, I do. This time with a block of iron and an iron plate. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to craft this up because there's nothing new and we'll get going. All right, guys, I'm back. I crafted the shell storage. I uh, raised it up one block because I know there's some uh, cases where you respawn in these and they kind of drop you a little bit and you can end up in a, a stuck and suffocating. So I'm trying to evade that by raising it up one. I'm going to make a cool wall of shell storages, like 40 of them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Right now I just need one. And I gave it a redstone signal, just a lever, like it said. And if I hop in there, uh, right now it's saying, oops, hop in there. There is only me, um, is the only person available to switch to, so I can't really change. Whoops. <laughs> I guess I can change. I'm sure going to come back right as the same guy. Oh, never mind. Okay, I am, I am in the pod. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I am in the pod. And that is a constructor. Oh, great. Is there a storage over here? <laughs> oh, that's not good. I forgot that I had a, another clone over here. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to either die or walk this guy back. <laughs> or get a... I don't know. I don't know what to do with this guy. I want to put him back inside. Oh, now I'm going to create another one. Creating another one of myself. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. It's been Fun Shed X for Crash Landing. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. Had a lot of fun making it today, playing around with Sink Shell, finishing off uh, a bunch of quests. I think we're done with two complete quest lines now. 
And uh, we'll be back next time to finish off uh, technological whatever. And I'll try and get uh, Nicholas to f uh, fix... Not Nicholas. Raccoon. To f <laughs> Nicholas was a server admin on Utopia. That's where I'm getting that from. Uh, Raccoon to fix the issue with the mob spawning. I'm not sure why they're not spawning, but he probably will figure it out pretty quickly. And we'll be back for more shenanigans. It's been Funshine X for Crash Landing. See you guys later. Bye.